So welcome to this, the fourth in the uh, series of videos on developing a um, YUI application using EWD. Um, so this is where we'd got up to in the previous uh, video. We'd managed to create the um, login dialog with the login form, but the menu was still just coming. It, it wasn't there. It was just the text from the initial menu fragment. So let's extend that and let's try and create this menu. So over here is our initial menu fragment with the text in it. So let's start to edit that. And we're going to use one of my YUI widgets called menu bar, which when compiled will generate all the JavaScript required for a YUI menu bar uh, widget. Unlike the um, dialog widget, this uh, uh, is, is has been designed so that its contents are defined programmatically rather than physically embedded inside the uh, inside the tags. And the way we instruct it to get its content is by using this thing session name equals and we're going to call it menu def. That's it for now. That um, is going to be pointing to what's called an EWD session array. Now that is, has to be created somewhere, and it's going to be created by what's called a prepaid script. And we define a prepaid script or invoke a prepaid script by adding it in here. And it's going to be a Python module, so py. The module that contains the function is going to be called library, and the function that will is going to uh, Fetch are going to create the menu definition is called get login menu. Now we haven't created that yet, um, but that, that's all the definitions as it were in place in the fragment. So we'll save that. And now let's create this get login menu function in a um, Python module called library. So if we go over to um, WinSCP, important thing, the directory you've got to be in is in user, local, GTM, EWD. That's where Python modules need to run for EWD. And the way I do this is I scroll down to the bottom, to that gap in the bottom, position the mouse in that gap, right click, new file, call the file library.py and then into our empty window for library.py I'm going to go and fetch the contents that I need from here and you'll see at the top of the module we're doing import EWD that imports all the wrappers for the EWD session APIs um, then our function get login menu which we referred to in our prepaid script it must have a, a single subscript SES ID which is then used in all the other APIs and you'll see hopefully here that the menu is being defined by a Python dictionary which there's two elements, uh, each of which has a subdictionary of text, uh, text equals home and text equals about. We're then merging that dictionary into the EWD session using a special EWD API, which will do all the work for us. And it's just putting menu into a session structure called menu def. And then it returns with a null to instruct EWD that it's run successfully. So we'll save that. Um, just to recap on that page then, compare that with the, the initial menu, you'll see that the session name was menu def, so we're creating menu def here, and the prepaid script will be invoking get login menu from the library.py file. So that should be everything in place. We'll recompile application, re 
run it in the browser, click refresh, and there we are. We've now got our menu bar coming up with the two options, home and about. But at the moment that's all there is. There are no submenu options on that. So let's quickly define the submenu options. To do that, we'll go back into our Python module and we're going to extend that menu definition. I've got one already pre-written that I'll just paste in. Replace the old one. What we're doing here is we're adding submenu as well as the text. Uh, remember, we're putting in submenu, and the submenu has an array of dictionaries. Text is login, text is quit on the first one, and on the about one, it has a submenu of about. Otherwise, it's all the same. We can merge that into the menu def session structure. Save that. Now, this time, all we've done is change the um, Python library module. We haven't made any changes to the pages, so we don't need to recompile. That module should get invoked as soon as we reload the application into the browser. And now, there we are, there's our sub options. So that's um, created those. They're not doing anything at the moment, um, but that will be the subject of our next video to show how we can make these menu options then do something to make a change to the actual work area of the page. Okay, see you in video number five.